Yes, good evening, Mr. Speaker. Uh, MP Lister. Yes. MP Lister, you have, you have 20 minutes on the clock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is a late hour, um, so I promise I will not be long, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, it's not new to us, but in the past recent months, we've seen an uptick in anti-violent, anti-social activity, violent crimes, gang activity, and acts such as that. So, Mr. Speaker, I do want to speak about that tonight. I want to preface my comments to Mr. Speaker with a rap lyric from rapper Meek Mill. And it says, quote, I didn't come here to preach, but I had to say something because I'm the one for rich, end quote. Mr. Speaker, I use that lyric because as many of this involved in the anti-social activity are young black males. And while I might not be as young as I used to be, I still consider myself young and have been, and can relate to that demographic. Mr. Speaker, I would like to use my platform to speak to that young demographic and speak to the realities of gang, street life, or life around crime. Mr. Speaker, the first point I want to talk about is limitations. The life, the street life, gang life, or whatever it wants to be called, Mr. Speaker, it looks glamorous. It's a fast life. As they say, fast money, fast money, fast money comes fast. I'm going to mess it up, but money comes fast, money goes fast, Mr. Speaker. It looks glamorous, but it's only short term. Meaning, Mr. Speaker, that that cycle, that life, once you're in it, it's a cycle that is hard to break and it would impact you for the rest of your life. Mr. Speaker, when I was younger, growing up, as young as all or most young people my age, I listened to rap music and the like. Mr. Speaker, some of the biggest rap artists when I was growing up, Mr. Speaker, names such as Jay Z. Snoop Dogg, T.I., and 50 Cent, and many others. But, Mr. Speaker, 20 years ago, I can say, when I was in my teens, Mr. Speaker, and listening to that, that music, again, it sounded entertaining. It sounded fascinating because it was an exciting life that was portrayed, Mr. Speaker. And it's, it was very easy to believe that life that they rapped about. Yes, yeah, some lived it. Others may have just wrote about it, but it made it they made it seem a glorious life, a glamorous lifestyle, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, as I got older, those rappers that I grew up with, those that lasted long in the rap game, as they got older, as they matured, the lifestyle matured, the music matured. They went from rapping about selling drugs and the gang life and violence and such. So as you see, people like Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, T.I. 50 Cent, those are now household names out of, outside of just those that listen to the rap music genre. Mr. Speaker, they, they're in movies, they're in TV shows, they're writers, they do, they're involved in a lot of other things that in the beginning of their career, they might not have even dreamed that they would have been here, Mr. Speaker. And what I noticed is that as they grew, the lyrics change, the, the values change as they grew in their rap career. So, Mr. Speaker, from limitations to value, as you get older in life or as you grow in life, your values should change. You should, change. You, should, you as yourself should value yourself so that you don't get caught up in that lifestyle. Most people that got caught up in that lifestyle, they don't feel value. Rather, they're told from young 
or whatever life circumstances come their way, they don't feel value. So it's about finding some value in your life or something that you want to do. Not everyone, Mr. Speaker. A lot, a lot of people get caught up in their life because from a young age, they might not have the brain, so they might feel that if I'm not doing good in school, I'm not going to be a doctor. I'm not going to be a lawyer. You know, a, a profession that is highly respected. So a lot of young men, especially, young women also, but young men especially, they go to life feeling not valued or undervalued, Mr. Speaker. So what I say to them is that find something that you can value in life. A lot of people that aren't always, as they say, book smart. They're good with their hands. A lot of guys are, are good mechanically, bikes. They can take a bike apart, put a bike back together. Some guys are good with spraying, you know, good, um, very creative, have good ideas. All of those things, if a person can find, has a passion for it, they can find a way to make that passion a, a way of life. But as they say, if it's something that you can wake up and enjoy doing, it's not a joy. It's a passion for you. And so you can find some value in something that you're good at or, again, in yourself. That right there, Mr. Speaker, is the first step to not getting caught up in that lifestyle. Because when you have value in something, you make different decisions. And as I said, going back to those rappers that I named in the beginning, as they got older, yes, the more fame they got, the more money they got, the bigger the name they got, their values shifted and changed. Getting away from a life that either was in a violent lifestyle, drugs and crime, whether they portrayed it or not, their values changed. They got away from that. As they got older, they had to make more money so your value your your what your worth increases, and so your life your your thought process your thoughts your mindset your lifestyle has to change because as you are now moving on up in life, you can't always do the same things that you did, and so Mr. Speaker, using what you are good at to help make a better life for you. Again, as I said, if you can do something that you enjoy, and that you can make money off it. And it's positive. I encourage people, find that so that you can have some value in life and in yourself. Also, Mr. Speaker, the realities of a life, of street life, is that as you, yes, it all seems good and glamorous in the beginning. Most times, young men get caught up in their teenage years because it's fun. It looks all exciting. But the older you get, Mr. Speaker, all of that comes back to you. When you get later in life, in your late 20s maybe, your 30s, your mid-30s, and when you have a past that you have, you can't go certain places, or you have to look over your shoulder wherever you are because of things that you've done in your past, that's not a life that you want to live. It's a limited life because you can't go everywhere. You can't, even, even Mr. Speaker, if you try to get out of that lifestyle, that lifestyle will impact you because if you have a record, it's harder to get a job. If you've been locked up for different crimes, you can't go overseas. If you want to, if you've got a job and they want to train you, or if you just wanted to go overseas yourself to get education. So what you do in your early life will impact you in your later life, Mr. Speaker. And so outside of the limitations that that life brings, and also finding value in your own life. Mr. Speaker, I'm talking about value. If we look back over under the uh, min under Minister MP Keynes, when he was Minister of National Security, and they came up with the Redemption Farm Program, even though as small as as simple as that seemed, for those young men, and I remember one evening in Caucus, he invited them after they had their harvest, he invited them up to Caucus to come meet with us. And just seeing the pride that these young men had, these were guys that were put up in that gang life, you know, 
but they were proud. They were proud when they brought us the vegetables, some carrots, and and I can't remember all the vegetables, but the pride that they had because this is something they put time into. They grew, you know, however long that process takes from sowing this harvest, from um, tilling the field, sowing the seeds, then feeding and watering, and finally to be able to harvest it. Oh, that process, it took, it's it's like a mother birthing a child, that nine months period that she goes through, brings that current, that child, that connection, you know, closer. So similar to these young men, that process, they ingrained, they ingrained themselves in that process to that when that harvest came, they felt proud. And then even Mr. Speaker, too, again, I remember next time, Minister Cairns, he either updated us or he brought those same young men in because the following harvest, I believe we had a hurricane in Bonita and their harvest was destroyed. And those young men, again, yes, they weren't happy this time. They were upset because that same energy and effort and time they put in to grow in those vegetables got destroyed. And so even though bad things happen, it still showed that by putting in that energy and valuing something, even though it went wrong, they themselves had that pride, that ownership of what they've done, accomplished. So, Mr. Speaker, that small initiative, as simple as it might have seemed, just growing vegetables, had a big impact on those participants that took a part of it. Mr. Speaker, outside of the limitation of values, another key thing is having positive role models or examples for these young men to look up to. As I said earlier, growing up, and even to this day, those gener the generation behind that are growing up. When they watch TV, a lot of what they see are negative role models, glorifying a life of crime, life of gang, drug dealing, and things like that, Mr. Speaker. So we have to combat that with positive role models for our young men to see. Mr. Speaker, whether that's in the school system, outside of school, actual curricular activities, whether it be sports or other um, activities that children are into, especially young males, they have to see good male role models in front of them so that they can aspire to be like them and not like what they see on TV and in the rap videos. Because yes, and which Mr. Speaker, which I had to learn growing up, a lot of it is just portrayed. A lot of it is just words written on a paper that has that they rap over a beat to. It's not all lit. Yes, some rappers and some hair, but not all. Because it's basically a story they're telling to sell that to the listeners to make money. So again, they make it seem glorious. They make it seem attractive. But they, they it's a deeper and darker side to that lifestyle. It's like they say of a glacier. You only see 10% of it above the water. The other 90% underneath, you'll never see. And with that farm, that street, that gang lifestyle, that 10% that you see is portrayed to look real, look glamorous. But on the dark side, the other side, that 90% is what isn't shown and how it impacts and it affects your life. As I said, once you get caught up in that lifestyle, it's a never ending cycle. You get trouble on one end, or you do something bad on one end. You either do to someone or some negative impact comes back to you and they are constantly in that cycle and it's hard to break. So Mr. Speaker, as I said, I'm not gonna be long. I just want to be short but impactful my words. To this, I know it's a late hour and many people might not be listening, Mr. Speaker, but the message I would still like to get out there is that that lifestyle, lifestyle street, gang, crime lifestyle, is not a lifestyle that anyone wants to be a part of. Yes, it looks glorious, but there's a dark side to it, and that's the side that will impact you for the rest of your life. So, Mr. Speaker, as we had this our last session uh, before the summer break, and in two weeks' time, we'll be heading into cop match, celebrating our emancipation, celebrating uh, Mary Prince and what she represented to the to the leader. Mr. Speaker, it will be a time for all Bermudians to come together, put down our differences, 
except for red and blue and blue and blue, but put down our differences so that we can come together as community, so that we can help each other to make it a better community and work on reducing the anti-social anti -social activity, violence, and crime. So, Speaker, I thank you for the opportunity tonight to the listening public, to my fellow colleagues. I wish you all a good night, a good weekend, and a good cup match holiday when it comes. And may the best team win, red and blue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, MP. Is there any other